Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is your host Riyan Al Bahlani. Welcome to our program Young Leaders. Join me in welcoming my guest Fathiya Al Mandri and Hatim Al Abd Al Salam. Hello Fathiya. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. How are you? Fine. Alhamdulillah. It feels good losing my job. <laughs> Yeah. So you guys are ready? So yeah, we are. Are you ready, Rayan? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Rayan today is very excited and uh, she's determined to take over. So alhamdulillah, at least now I can have a break. I can yeah. have a few crisps and uh, enjoy myself. <gasps> no. So I'm just <laughs> kidding. Yalla yalla. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome everybody to our show Young Leaders with Rayan Al Bahlani and Fathiya Al Mandariya. How are you ladies? Alhamdulillah, we're Alhamdulillah. fine. I think I see it it's becoming a trend now to have uh, uh two ladies uh, on the program. This is the fourth week that we have only ladies. I think the guys are chickening out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of them want to be on the show now. So, well, uh, I'll have to live with it. What to do? <laughs> so today we have the two distinguished young ladies uh, from Ahmed bin Majid Private School. As usual, Ahmed bin Majid Private School has always been a supportive partner. Yeah, although the <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. supportive. Yeah, yeah. I can see Rayan is doing faces, so <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> okay, they so are, they, they they've are always supportive. been supportive uh, to our program, and they've been giving us very good students. Mashallah, um, I've I've tried students from many schools, but uh, Alhamdulillah, Ahmed bin Majid students are distinguished. So today we have lots to talk about and uh, where do we start ladies? Um, the, f- the floor is yours, you can choose whatever you like. Uh, I think we should start with respect among all human race. Okay. Yeah, it's an interesting topic. It's an interesting about, topic. Yeah. Okay, so we hear this word respect all the time, especially from our parents. Yeah, yes. um, they, their concept of respect is different than our concept of respect nowadays. Yeah. And things are changing, but how do we demonstrate respect? How do we, you know, show respect, especially to the people around us? What are the things that we can do that re- that will really determine that we are respectable or something? Yeah, I think first of all, everyone wants to be respected. Okay. Okay. So, and respect doesn't just fall from the sky. Yeah. It has to start at home. Okay. So it grows at home. And then in the society, in our community, and so over it goes. What will respect? Uh, what will respect bring uh, to an individual? Uh, for Tahir? what what will it add? Um, I think peace. One is one of the things that would add because yeah. um, it's respecting someone is like knowing what you know, like knowing what you have inside, like mm-hmm. your faith, and knowing that someone else has a different one, and being at peace that they are different. Different opinions, different, uh, uh, different faiths, different, and being in peace with yourself that you know what you're doing and other people should, um, uh, what I wanted to say is like, uh, we should also respect others. Others. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I would give a few scenarios that are happening now. Yeah. Okay. And then let us see how we can determine whether these are respectable or irrespectable uh, situations okay. now they yeah. most of most of most of the people are very busy uh, with with work or whatever they are doing and you'd find that you would you would be sitting in a place and someone enters to that place and they don't greet for example they just come and sit yeah in your opinion is that respectable no no it's not it's not at all yeah but it, it's common now yeah it many is. people yeah. don't don't greet yeah or they greet only the people they know yeah. Yeah. One thing about it, if like what happens now is if everyone does it, then it's right. No, it's not like that. There are certain certain things that mm-hmm. are still wrong, even if the whole world uh, maintain to do that. Okay. For example, you're standing in a queue, and someone just skips the queue and comes in front of you. Yeah. yeah. And then he says, "Okay," <coughs> he ignores you. He ignores yeah. you completely, okay. and he he takes over. Yeah, would some of the people say this is part of our culture and it's normal? Really? Do you think that's Who said true? That? <laughs> some people, some people would argue they make and say, it up. Yeah, especially if they know uh. the the person in uh, at the counter. Oh my yeah? god! So <laughs> they think that okay, it's it's okay. Yeah? Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's not a big not. deal. 
Yeah. Mm. What would you do if someone does that to you? I would give them looks. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. It depends. Sometimes it happened to me a lot, by the way. And when you gave them the looks, did it change anything? Did no, it? I would tell them, uh, excuse me, I was standing here. Yeah. Please, yeah. <laughs> not uh, all people accept that. Yeah, though. <laughs> not all people. But yeah. still, yeah, yeah, I was standing. The, the so. thing is that many people wouldn't understand why you're making a big fuss out of this, you know? Um, maybe the, the queue is only three people, and then this guy comes and stands in front of you, so... But sometimes, like, you're late, mm-hmm. you have to go... And you've been waiting for so long and then someone comes in front of you. It's yeah. irritating. It's irritating. Yeah. So how do we stop this? How do we educate people and tell them, no, this I is think, wrong? Right? I think it goes back to discipline because it's all about, you know, uh, it's all going back to discipline because, like, if there weren't any disciplines, then it would just go, people would just go mad and there would no be such... Um, uh, Discipline for us to maintain. Like there's in everything, there's a discipline to yes. go through, and people just pushing you around and doing whatever they want. I think that would make the world go crazy. <laughs> okay, there's another thing that really irritates me, but maybe it's it's a common thing. Yeah. So for example, me and Rayan, we're working in the same office. I know you're called Rayan, but I would say, hey, do this for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, or you, or whatever sounds they make. To indicate yeah, yeah. that I mean you, yeah? How do you feel when someone doesn't call you by your name? It's actually okay with me sometimes. It's it okay depends who, though. It depends who. It depends who. Yeah, yeah, if someone's close to you, then... Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we got used to it. Okay. What about if they don't use the words please and excuse me and no, thank I you always things say, like that? I wouldn't do yeah? the thing they asked me to do until they say please or thank you. Okay. Like, I would stare at them. You As if until they nothing. beg you, yeah. Yeah. I say please. Okay, now we I'll know the like, secret okay. weapon of Rian which is staring, and I hope it works. Now, <laughs> maybe that's why you're wearing specs. <laughs> so there are many things, many things um, are happening now, yeah. and maybe the most affected are the elder. Yeah, they feel that no, this generation is really not respectable. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you see an elder person comes, you don't stand and give them your seat. Yeah. When you're at the uh, lunch table, your parents haven't started and you're already finishing. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you're flicking your phone no. while you're having lunch. That's or why we Things said like respect starts at home. Yeah. Like you have to teach your children respect at home. That's when they'll apply it on other things. Like yeah. And and do you think should you start at an early age or? Of Should course, you wait, yeah. you know, and then just... Because it you becomes easier to. when yeah. you go with it. It becomes easier. It becomes something that is within you. Like, you don't have to... This is why you start living with your parents first. And you start... In Islam, you start doing whatever your parents tell you because it's okay. that time that you get your values. basics from and values, yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, um, <laughs> and if you look back to the history of respect... And where we've where we've reached now, yes, um, you'd notice that a lot of things change because people used like people treated other people really badly who are different from them. Yeah, um, like they used to take people races. As slaves. Yeah, uh, just for I their skin color, and it's really sad to actually like. Yeah, mentioning, know about the, that. mentioning the skin color, we have something to talk about. <laughs> yeah, the me. iPhone software yeah. update. <laughs> Do you want us to talk about that yeah. now? Yeah. As you mentioned it. it okay, Rayan, tell us the update. What is the update about? Um, it's about different skin colors. Yeah. And the How? images. And the images. Yeah. yeah. Like okay, so previously, what did you have in the iPhone images? It was only white. It was, it was only white. Yeah. And now we have different and, skin Yeah. Colors. And the thing about it is when it first came up, everyone mm. was like, Racist! Oh my God, racist! Yeah. But it actually shows so, diversity. Like racist is like having only the white <laughs> skin. So, yeah. So, so Fatih, you, you think it's racist? No. no. It's diversity. That's, yeah, yeah, it's just diversity. What do you, you think? think? Well, I should. I I think all the images should be colorless, really. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but since like they've taken this step, it's not as bad. Or, or, or have or have a neutral color, which is like brown. You're not white or you're not black. You're in, you're that in the middle. That would be so. Yeah. That would be racist. But, also. but, yeah. but <laughs> if you have an image which 
which is which is completely black and none of them is completely <laughs> white and then you have a yellow in the middle and then you have a pink <laughs> but don't I, you I don't think, think like it shows diversity it shows like, diversity yeah. well what's the point of it I don't know. <laughs> it's because okay, you know why. Okay, for example, why? if you have a smiley face, okay, <laughs> one is white and one is black, and then when do you send the white smiley and when do you send the black smiley? Depends on your skin color. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I really don't see the point of it. Yeah, yeah I know what you're saying, yeah. but the thing is, it's not actually a point until people made it a point. It, there shouldn't be white or brown, but people made it an issue. Okay. That's what I mean, that's my point. Is you're right, it shouldn't be a problem, but people made it an issue. Okay, I think I'm, for- I'm I'm looking forward to see what <laughs> other people think about this. So yeah. I think we forgot to mention something. Yes. Yeah. Um whoever wants to call, we have live broadcasting. <laughs> we call. Um the number is two four six zero two zero five eight. Two four six zero two zero five eight. Okay, so Rayan is really determined today to take <laughs> over my job, and I'm very happy. And uh, I think I need a break. Yeah, I should be uh, on the beach now enjoying myself <laughs> with a fruit cocktail. Yeah, instead of being here stuck with these two ladies. What to do? This is my luck in life. <laughs> so, again, um, in the same discussion that we have, diversity, yeah? Yeah. We have lots of people around the world. People with different skin color. You have different from different, different from different <laughs> people from different ethnicity, from different religion. Yeah, and Oman is setting a very good example on how people are tolerant and how they can live with other uh, people from different cultures yeah. and backgrounds. Have you experienced this? Yeah. Do you think? I it's think it's everywhere. I think even in school, it's okay. not just Asamanis. We have to deal with or communicate with others as well. It's. I think every country deals with it because um, we're not just like Amanis live in Aman or like um, Americans live in am- America. It's all we're all living together in a way. And uh, I think we're all learning from each other. And yeah, I, I think many times people seem to forget that planet Earth is our home. Yeah. Yeah. Is the home for everybody. Yes. Yeah. We don't have boundaries. We don't have that. This is my home and this is not your home. We're sharing the same planet. And the moment we uh, erase these differences that we have, the boundaries that we have, then everything becomes OK. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this diversity adds a lot to our personality. Yeah. So I don't know if both of you. Uh, this thing has added something to your personality, you know. Yeah, it would you has. would you prefer to have a school only Omanis, or no. would you, you you prefer to have different nationalities, no. different, different backgrounds? We yeah. learn from each other. Yeah, and that's we what it's all about. Yeah, and we get different set mindset. Because basically, we're created different to know one another, and yeah. if we just stick to our kinds of people, then what's <laughs> the use? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now translate that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have created you from nation in in nations and tribes so that you know one another. Yeah. Yes. But again, there's a point uh, I would like to make. Yeah. Um, uh, respecting uh, other cultures and okay, the diversity of having different uh, traditions and cultures. Uh, people tend to forget there's a fine line between respecting them and actually losing their identity. Hmm. So it's like, uh, okay, someone, uh, we mentioned this last uh, last session that people walk around with uh, loose jeans and whatever, and they're like, oh, you said uh, to be, to respect others, but at the same time, maintain your identity, know that's, your background. That's, that's very good and very important, yeah, to have an identity that represents you. Yeah. 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 Um, I... I'm not really keen about the imitating others, yeah. You can imitate people in the good things. Yeah, and yeah. it's always an added value to have something from other other people. But to uh, imitate something that really doesn't add value to you and then someone who looks at you who doesn't know whether you're a guy or a girl or yeah, whether you're awake or half asleep. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm not in in favor of that. Yeah. Really. We yeah. also noticed that um large barriers exist between western and arabs. Yeah. And our goal is to eliminate these barriers through friendship and culture exchange. 
Yeah. So, yeah. so w- w- what should we do? Eliminate the buyers. Yeah, how do you eliminate the buyers? <laughs> I think no. You use pizza, pizza or something? <laughs> no, I think barriers are naturally bound to happen because of our different mindsets mm-hmm. and uh, background of religion. I think they are bound to happen, but the thing is we should focus on the larger picture, which is, as you said, <laughs> as you said, uh, developing our, our home, which is Earth. Together. Okay, as we are mentioning this, uh, that respect, diversity, yeah, yeah, there's something that is very common among all of us, yeah? Yeah. Mobile jokes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? No. Is when you say that there is an Egyptian who is sitting at home and because of this, because of that, you mock or, yeah. other, other people, even other mo- nationalities. People even mock themselves nowadays. Yeah, they mock them. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's okay to mock yourself, but mocking other people's and stereotyping them for a certain uh, quality. Yeah. yeah. Like, for example, I, w- I will give a very classical example. Um, the people who are in the interior of Egypt, they're called Sa'ida. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know they are the most smartest people in Egypt? Yeah? yeah. They are very smart and very intelligent. And they have doctors and writers and lawyers. But the, st- the stereotype that all of the Arabs uh, have, have, have pictured is that these people are, you know, useless. They, they don't know anything. They don't know anything and they may, they create lots of jokes. And these jokes, you know, stick with you till you enter the grave. Yeah. Even ser- uh, stereotyping um, us Muslims as having, <laughs> as being terrorists and which is w- really opposite of what our religion says. Yes. Is, I think it's exactly the same thing. And since it's happening to us, why don't we uh, feel what others are feeling and not do it too, like what you said. So, so for example, if you you find a you get a message from a friend, yeah, which is a joke, and uh, it states that uh, you know don't get on a plane with an Arab, otherwise it's gonna explode or something. He has something under his beard. Or something. <laughs> yeah. How would you respond to that? You know, would you defend that or would you have a laugh and 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 forget about it, or would you educate people? Or what? What exactly would you do? We would try to advise the person. Like, but you'd laugh. First, it's yeah? it's funny, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> funny, but it's still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yeah, I mean, I think we should stop like mocking. Others. Yeah, I think we should because at the end of the day, you won't uh, accept it for yourself. Why do it to others? Yes, actually, yeah. the joke is so funny when it is on others. But the, yeah. moment, the moment it comes home, then it becomes okay. It's, like, it's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. The next topic that uh, Rayan has chosen for us today <laughs> is Arabs are useless. Yeah. This is the misconception that is out there. It's a yeah. Arabs it's a propaganda. Are useless <laughs> yeah. And they have not contributed a single thing to this world. They just that's wrong. actually that's wrong. We won't even argue on that. We'll just give them live examples. Yes. Okay, that, that's good. Yeah, that's good. so it does all the work for us. So we don't have to. Arabs have made many great contributions to the world's development mm-hmm. in the fields of uh, navigation and geography, mathematics, language, and if you look back, most of the great achievements uh, starts from Arabs, which is like Ibn Sina, mm. yeah. Ibn Battuta. Ahmed bin Majid, um, Al Idrisi, Hatun Absalam, Riyan Balani, Hayyan Mandari. No, I think I think um, most of the most of the people uh, out there, they don't disagree that Arabs in the past did something. The argument is Arabs today are only good at spending wealth. Okay, yeah, spending money. That's it. That's the only they're, thing. They're, they're a bit at. lazier, but it's not like they're not no, doing anything. No, I don't. I don't agree. I think. Yes, you don't I agree. Think, Why? Yeah. You don't agree. I think if okay, they are the basics of all the knowledge. Okay, mm-hmm. people take from them. So if it wasn't for Arabs, then people wouldn't have all the things they have. But we're the talking past. about Arabs the today. Yeah, today. But they contributed. But still, today they're today. not. What are they doing today? Using their phones. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's, everyone's set back, to be honest. Yeah. And I think, okay, for example, people stereotype <laughs> Arabs for being, like, having money and... And petrol. Yeah. And petrol, right? Yeah. I don't think money comes from being useless. 
Well, we, we inherited that. <laughs> no. It, it's already there. Yeah, but. Yeah, we didn't do anything to get it out or something, yeah? True. No, but again. <laughs> no, he has a point. He okay. has a point. Okay, okay let, he let, does. Let, let me clar- clarify this. Okay. Okay. Arabs are not useless. At least uh, the maj- some of them, or the majority. It's that uh, we have lots of engineers and doctors and inventors. Yeah? The only thing. Okay, we. Can we take a call? Yeah, yeah sure. Of course. Go ahead, Raya. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, it's Sabalia, guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, you guys are doing a great job, mashallah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Including me, Avalia. Good work. <laughs> Avalia. Yeah, have fun. Avalia. Avalia. Yeah? How Hi. are you? I'm great, alhamdulillah. What about you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Are, are yeah, your friends yeah. doing well or including me as well? Oh, Am I included you them? Too. Including me? <laughs> well, actually, I'm having a hard time here with the two ladies. <laughs> but, uh, Someone's taking over. <laughs> I, I, will, I will be patient uh, for today. Avalia, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any topic you want to talk with us about? Yeah, you wanted to ask Rayan or Fatiha. Uh, <laughs> well, nothing in mind. Um, you guys just Talk, yani, whatever you have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you for calling. Thank you so much, Adali, for calling, and Thank please uh, do join us sometime. Inshallah. Inshallah. Take care, Adali. Assalam. Okay. So yeah. we were saying that Arabs are smart, intelligent. They they are inventors. They are doctors. They are lawyers. Even even if you go in the West, many many uh, famous doctors and surgeons are Arabs. Yeah. Yeah. And and today we we can find that in the Arab world there are a lot of inventors, but the only thing which is missing is the platform to make these people yeah, shine. Yeah, I think true, that's true. what the West, Westerns are doing. They're actually taking the they're taking their Arab ability and achievement and mm. skills, and they're making them work. While here it's just the regular thing, you know, uh, study, uh, get your masters or or your bachelor and then just to work and I've there's no something. improving and you know. I read something yes. about uh, students who um, had this project I think mm-hmm. and they they it's just <laughs> this is a uh, chair <laughs> okay. for diving for disabled people okay. which was a really good idea mashallah but, so but, that, but i don't think special it, chair. yeah i don't think the news is spread much because not a lot of people know about okay. it so yes. they they are doing something but no, it's hidden no, no nobody hidden. Uh, is interested maybe to highlight that yes you are you're absolutely right and also there is another category of arabs yeah they might be very qualified they have the 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 PhDs. I'm not talking about majority. I'm talking about some some groups. Yeah, yeah. they they are they are qualified. They did their research and everything. When they come back to their countries, yeah, they just hang that qualification <laughs> on the wall and they like to be called doctors only. Yeah, but they don't contribute anything to the community. They don't give classes to other to other students. They don't continue their research. So this is also something that needs to be um, addressed. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Arabs must prove to the world that they are not useless. Actually, they, they shouldn't prove to the world. They should prove to themselves. Yeah. Because we are not helping ourselves. Now and we have lots of the things... We have to believe that we can do better. Yes, I, I, th- I think. And um, the, the, the best time to do that is now, when we have the oil crisis. Yeah. yeah? Now t- it's tough in Oman. Yeah. And, and in the GCC countries. That everything's going to be very, very tough because yeah. of the, 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 the oil prices. So it's time to work hard and stand on our feet and do something about it. Yeah. We have another call. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. I think we lost the call. Yes, so both of you proved that Arabs are not useless. <laughs> at least they're good at... Uh, they invented the shisha. <laughs> yeah. And hummus. <laughs> yeah, mandi. Which are very essential in everyone's yeah. life. <laughs> yeah. So, in uh, environment. What can we say about environment? Yeah, maybe now we're starting to take some in 
to take some initiatives in, in environment. We have lots of uh, small, small groups who are very keen about environment yeah. and yeah. Doing preserving aware. the environment. Yeah. But I think small groups aren't enough. Like, it's the start, but if one small group, like, helps the environment or recycles, it doesn't make a difference. We should all, we should all work contribute. together. Yeah. Because yeah, but, but I, but I think also, um, many people are not really aware of what is the environment, what is happening to the environment. Yeah. 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 Because you find people, yeah, still uh, throwing, let's say, for example, garbage on the, on the beach. Yeah. When I they think, go on I garbage think noise. it yeah. hasn't hit them on the head, you know, like, okay. Yeah. It's happening, you know. Yeah. I it think will come back to hit us one day. Yeah. And I think yeah, it's because it's, it's a bit, it takes time. For all the things like, for example, global warming and to reach its ex- extreme. Yes. And I think people are just being selfish in a way that they're not, they're like, oh, okay, it's going to happen yeah. in the future. We well, won't be it, there. It is happening in other parts of the world. Yeah. Yeah. The effect yeah. of global warming. But uh, we can't wait until it, it, it arrives yeah. uh, to our country, our beloved country. And and also the people who have the mentality that they are the, the, the people who are green. They're all over the place. They would do the job, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. my job is to to uh, throw everything, yeah, on the streets. And expect. And there is someone else who yeah. do that, yeah. But not that's thinking wrong. that's irresponsible. Yeah. yeah, because it's not their earth. It's ours. It's all of ours. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, young people like both of you have to start these initiatives, especially at a at the school level, yeah, to... Yeah, we actually... We have a recycling. Yeah, we have a recycling project in our school, and we were one of the... Our school is working hard on this. Yeah. What are you recycling? Students? <laughs> <laughs> what, no, what are no. you recycling? Um, Papers. Papers. We and started also off. We started off with a awareness campaign. Uh-huh. Uh, what we did is we went to a beach, and we... It was really disappointing. We have a call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I would like to ask a question to both of the ladies, please. Yes, please go ahead. Well, my question can, uh, is... Uh, can, you, can you please first uh, reduce uh, the volume on, on your radio and, and listen through, the, uh, um, listen through the, the phone and, and tell us your name, please. Um, hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Arij Majid Al Ma'amari. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Arij. Um, my question is about the subject that you were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Which Which one? About res- respect. Uh huh. I wanted to know what's your point of view of being influenced by someone in the past, for example, the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Yes. And uh, us as Muslims nowadays, even though the life in the past was easier, and now it's a bit harder under the shade of respect. Okay, so you wanted to know the influence of the past, like uh, from the Prophet, peace be upon him, on our lives today. Yeah, their point of view. Their point of view. Okay, that's a very good question. And we have uh, two wonderful people here to answer that question. Is that your only question? Uh, yeah, that's my only question. That's your only question. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, wait for the answer from the ladies. <laughs> okay. You. Yes. So r- respect started from him, actually. Peace be upon him. Mm-hmm. Um, Peace be upon him. Nobody would be like um, reached to his level of respect. It's really hard. Okay. But we, we have to try, but... Like he actually said um, a hadith, which uh, I forgot to actually mention, but he he, he talked about um, that, about races. He was like, لا فرق بين عربي ولا عجمي إلا بالتقوى. Yeah, exactly. There is no difference between white or black or an Arab or non-Arab, except, except by through righteousness. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. And I think uh, it has influenced a lot of people because anyone who says they're a Muslim mm-hmm. should actually uh, go through what uh, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Yes, and so I think it has really made an impact because we're all Muslims and we try to 
do we, we have we have to treat people the way we want to be treated yeah and exactly it's not that's ab- only about i think i think the the um, the sister was making also a point that many people today think that those values that we had in the past the time of prophet sallallahu cannot be uh, applicable in our time time is different but i think that whatever we've been taught by the prophet sallallahu can be applicable until the day of judgment. Yeah, because yeah. it's uh, a religion for um, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has said that it's a religion for every time, not just for that specific um, time. Time. It's for every every generation, every generation, every generation and every generation. time. It's the last religion. So I think they're wrong. <laughs> I mm-hmm. and I agree with you that it. Sh- it can be applied in this and actually generation. these uh, these values that we learn from the prophet peace be upon him are very beneficial yeah. to us yeah. whether it is yesterday or today and they solve lots of our problems yeah. that that we are having today yeah yeah For, i'll give an example that one of the uh, sayings of the prophet peace be upon him that if you want uh, if you want to love one another yeah feed people and greet one another yeah mm. so let's take the part where it greets yeah yeah um when you're sitting in a place with all strangers then you come in you say assalamu alaikum it's it's a total different experience yeah, yeah? yeah. people open up to you instead yeah. of you coming in staring at them and just finding a seat yeah, yeah? the grudge will always be there people I will actually, say i actually sometimes i think people are mad at me because they didn't <laughs> <laughs> greet me so yeah yeah, it's, I think I yeah. think it's it's, it's very it's, important yeah. and it's applicable. I yeah? think it also also goes to the first impression of someone. Like if the first uh, impression is like sitting or ignoring you, then you won't feel comfortable and you won't be able to communicate. You might I've, even think they're rude. I've, yeah, I've exactly. I've actually come across um, people here in Oman, Muslims. Yeah, for example, I'll be standing with Rayyan. Okay, Fathiya knows Rayyan. She doesn't know me, so she would come. And then she says, Assalamu alaikum, uh, Rayyan, how are you? Uh, she will kiss you on the cheek. And I'll be standing there like... Looking at yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what about What you. about me? Yeah. Where is yeah, the Assalamu yeah. alaikum? Where, you know, at least greet it the person happens. who is standing yeah. there. It happens a lot, actually. And and this is very rude. Yeah, it is. So this is our chance to spread the awareness that yeah, it, whoever bi- is listening... You have a big task today to... Yeah, whoever yeah. is listening, don't do that Listen again. <laughs> You don't want other people to think you're rude. Yeah. So don't do it. Okay. Going back to environment, you're saying that you are recycling students. So what were you doing? What? Sorry. What? Recycling. People? <laughs> I even uh, forgot. Like, no, we were saying that we started a oh, yeah. campaign, campaign, awareness campaign. Mm-hmm. We went to the beach, and I wanted to say that it was actually very disappointing Why? to see because it was filled with trash. Yeah. yeah. Like it was really. I was like, and we actually made a documentary about it. Yeah. And yeah, it was about preserving the environment and not throwing plastic waste. So, so do you think these people who are doing this, they love this country, or it's just simply ignorant? Maybe I they think love they it, do, but, but they're not <laughs> like they don't think it's something big or it's like they're careless. They're not conscious see. about what about the consequences. Like mm. they just see it as. Okay, no one saw me. I threw it. خلاص يعني. You know, end of end of story. But it's really not. I have a friend at work uh, who has a, a very big jar on his table, and he's obsessed with recycling. <laughs> so he collects these uh, these plastic covers. Oh bottle, yeah, yeah? yeah. So he goes around like a like a police, you know, each each department, and I'll be drinking water, and then I, w- I would. Be throwing the bottle. <laughs> say, no, no, please, please, g- 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 give me the. <laughs> we should the, have the more cover. people like him. I, I yeah. Said, oh, God, this guy's gonna kill we me because of the school. cover. Yeah, we do. Uh, we have. We have. School. We okay, have we have. Well. We we have a call. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. So many calls today. Salam <laughs> alaikum. <laughs> How are you? Um, I have a, a question to ask. Yes, go ahead. But it's nothing to do with the environment. Okay, it was t- t- tell us your name. Tell first. us your name. This is Marwa. Marwa. <laughs> this is Marwa. <laughs> Hi, Marwa. Hi. Hi, Rayan. 
How are you? Yes, tell us your question, Marwa. She's on her way to Dubai, but... Mashallah. Okay, so... She there's cares. this thing that's been going around for centuries, mm-hmm. and my mom always speaks to me about it. When someone is classified as upper class or wealthy, they're treated with more respect than people that are in a lower class standard. They're more neglected and they're left out and... People just do not like them as much. What do you think of these people? That's a very good question. That's an amazing question. I, ne- I never thought of it. Thank you so much, Marwa, f- Maru for asking that question. Thank you, Marwa. Thank, Maru. Thank you. So what do you think, ladies? Uh, that's a really good question, yeah. Yeah. I just said that. <laughs> I had to say it again okay. <laughs> because it was really a really good question. <laughs> to the point, do you to the think? Point. Do you, do you actually think this happens? It does. Do you think it happens? Yes. It does. <laughs> Tell us your views about it. She reminds this. me of my parrot at home. <laughs> okay, it does happen, and um, unfortunately, um, people are treated as per their uh, social status. Yeah, if you're rich, if you're famous, if you're influential. Yeah. You get more and I remember the first job that I had in an oil company where um, that was a long time ago when I was 16. And I used to have fights with my friends. So, for example, if everybody's sitting, yeah, and I would come in and greet them, some of them wouldn't stand, yeah. And then if someone else, let's say the boss, comes in, Everybody stands and, you know. <laughs> so I think that's double standard. Yeah. Respect should be... Um, not based it, it on not, standards. Should, yeah, why do you think people be... do that? Like, why do they... Well, it's always like when you think... Uh, Everybody what, has what, what do I get out of it? Yeah. If, if you're a normal person and uh, I give you that respect, like I give to the other influential person, what do I get out of you? At least I'm going to get something out of that. I don't know. This okay. is my, 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 yeah, my yeah. way I get of thinking. It. Yeah. But I think that's totally wrong. You should treat yeah. people It's sad, equally. actually. It's sad yeah. to see that. No matter who they are. I, I remember we have um, we have cleaners and we have uh, staff who prepare the tea for us uh, at work. Yeah. And, and most of them are Omanis. And in the morning, you find people saying good morning to everybody. And they don't even dare... T- they, they, they don't even extend that greeting to that person that person has been standing there for hours preparing tea for you yeah they don't yeah. even yeah. bother the least that and you can do is you notice that they're the most kindest people yes and yes, they yeah, they get really right. like happy when you greet them like they feel special yeah. or something so it's some something simple that makes them happy i think also people uh forgot that there is reward for everything that we do yes yeah from yeah. Allah subhanahu yeah, ta'ala. yeah. The, 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 the reward that you get when you greet someone who is influential, for example, is not equal to the reward that you get to someone who really needs that greeting. Someone who, it makes a difference to him. Yeah. yeah? yeah. If you have a cleaner, for example, and if he, he comes towards you and you stand and you shake his hand with both of, both of your hands and you give him a big smile... Yeah. yeah, and sometimes you extend like me, and you give him a big hug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah, and at the end of the difference. day, he's human as well. So yes, it's the simple thing yeah. that makes you happy. Or and it's good under happy. respecting humans again, yeah. like different. So, so I think people need need to uh, look at everyone else equally. Yeah, yeah. as the the prophetic tradition that you mentioned, there is no difference between. A black or a white or an Arab or an non-Arab, except yeah. th- through righteousness. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is the this, this is the only standard that you you should have. Yeah. And thank you very much, uh, Marwa, for bringing up that uh, point. It was very useful, and I think we should st- we should start implementing this. We have another call. Mashallah. Today we have a traffic of calls. <laughs> of course, Salaam I alaykum. announced it. <laughs> of course. Salaam alaykum. Of course. Wa alaikum as How are you? This is my sister. I'm good. <laughs> are you her, her she's sister? From, she's calling from Germany, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I'm calling you from Germany. Actually, now London. Mashallah. <laughs> so, you, are you actually following the show from London? Yes, because. Yeah. Because of Rayyan or because of us? 
بكذا فريان اكيد بكذا فريان ان يور فيس انت رحنا شوي نو اند اند اي لايك ذا توبيك اكشلي اند اي هاف سمثينغ تو سي وانس تو توك اباوت ذا انفايرمنت ذات يو هاف تو بيبل هاف تو ثينك اباوت ذا اذر بيبل هو ار كلينينغ ايفري دي مورنينغ اند اندر ذا سان سو يو هاف تو ميك ذا ورك ليس فور ذيم نوت ثرو اول ذا ستاف ذير يو نو Yes, you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's it's being sensible, it's being responsible, and also caring of for the other people. You know these these yeah. these guys who are working uh, cleaning the, the the country. They start very early in the morning. Some of them start at three. Some of them start at four. And also the weather. Yeah? And the like, weather sometimes is it's, it's really hot. It's really, it's really hot, hot or it's extremely cold. We cannot cold. stand. Yeah, we cannot especially handle nowadays though. Yeah, we cannot handle stand. We cannot. <laughs> As <laughs> standing outside for like two minutes or something without complaining, and But they stand all day working, yeah. not even sitting. So, what do you think of the show so far? I think I think we lost the call. Uh, yeah, I think we lost the call. I don't know if your sister is impressed with you or not. I don't. She know. is. She we'll is. find out later on. <laughs> she is. Don't worry. <laughs> so, uh, when is your exams? By the way. Uh, end, of, f- end of May, la? Yeah, mi- mid May. Mid May. Yeah. So, you, mid-May. are you prepared for your exams? Not are you really. studying hard or yeah. messing <laughs> around with your phone? Hmm? Uh-huh. Your parents are listening, so <laughs> you have to be honest. We're studying. <laughs> You're studying. Uh, yeah, we're studying. We <laughs> have short tests. There is two day, types so. of studying. There is studying and there is sort of studying. <laughs> Well, we'll we'll find out when the results come. Our, yeah, our marks yeah. will. Come. So, um, <laughs> what's the plan of the school? Do you have like a celebration or graduation or something? We do have we a graduation. Do. When is that? Uh, in a week, I think. In a week. Next week. Seven. Yeah, next so, seven. Yeah. Okay, let me let me get this right because when I when I used to <laughs> go graduated. to school, wait, just hold on. <laughs> when I We used to go, <laughs> when yeah. I used to go to school, there is no graduation whatsoever. Now you have people who who are in. in KG and they have graduation Graduate. ceremony yeah uh, the so um now you you're having exams at um, mid may and then you're having the graduation, graduation in a week it. so what happens if you if you fail and they you've have, already graduated yeah, and you get to graduate <laughs> twice what do you mean so the the failures will have another graduation ceremony exactly wallahi <laughs> You are, are, you actually, spoiled. it doesn't make sense you to me spoiled. as well. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me as well. So, what happens in the graduation actually? Um, how do how do you know that? Okay, to now now we're gonna announce the first ten students who scored very high. But okay. you didn't do the exam. Oh, you don't you don't have that sort of thing. Uh, no, they do actually. They do. I think they see your first result. First think, term results. Yeah, first semester results. Okay. Yeah. So, it doesn't really make sense, but people but, do. <laughs> so you you have to wear the the gowns and yeah. you know. And they'll say like class of 2015 will graduate of senior 2015. Yeah. <laughs> so um I have another silly question. Is, is there food uh, in graduation? Of yeah. course. W- yeah. Will I be invited? Tawal. Tawal. Ahmed bin Majid would like to have you there. Yeah, we'll be honored. Yes. Yeah, inshallah, you just tell me when and I'll inshallah. Inshallah. I'll be fa- I'll be fasting on that day. <laughs> okay, one more thing that we need to talk about is before we end today's show is role models. Yeah? Yeah. I am very proud of uh, both of you and the rest of the students. who have been with us on the show and i think you are role models and you make a difference because you inspire younger people in your generation and you have to keep up the good work um today maybe we are lacking role models yeah because of the uh, um the lack of having proper platforms for It's young true. people such as yourself so yeah. what do you think we should do you know how do, how can we emphasize about role models for younger people <laughs> we start from school mm-hmm. i think we should have like more programs that would influence students yes to stand up or i to think try. i think um the thing about us is like we're so used to having you know being a role model is doing actually doing something and being social so that people actually know that you're a role model mm. but now it's just, it's just with our phones and people think you're all that from your I have to disagree with that. I people, have to no, disagree. People think for example not people everyone post though. statuses and yes. stuff and 
they might be like the last person to obey their status and people would be like oh my god she's such a role model she posted that and i don't I look think up to her <laughs> yeah i look up to her and it's actually not that, her. that's a very good uh, thing that we can talk about is the big illusion that we have in social media yeah yeah people think that the more followers you have then oh you're you're a role model yeah. or you're, you're a celebrity and people post fake yeah fake stuff yeah things that don't represent them things which are not part of their value it's like a big you know, i'm not, not i'm not yeah. talking about everybody yeah, yeah. i'm just talking about some but yeah, yeah. we people. also have a lot of talents in this generation like we have a lot of photographers young photographers yes. Such young as artists <laughs> young artists and other things yeah but that's it's not on my social point. media that's not my point i'm talking about role models and uh, social media mm. and i think this is also on social media <laughs> so no in, in general in Absolutely. general yeah, in, in, no in but general. i i mean like not from talent point of view i mean from being uh a character a character wise a uh, role model okay yeah. let us take this call sam i like so much and i can't listen you people so uh, so clearly but i'm uh, saying that show is really great and the first time i'm calling here and every time listen like every thursday i can listen to the seaside and uh, you people uh, you people say uh, very good things and topic people talk on that oh. it's really good i really appreciate that thank, 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 thank you thank you, so you. Much. that's thank really you. nice you, you, yeah. you, you really went fast you, you know so and you didn't you didn't give us a chance to ask you uh, even what your name your name so uh, i have no any question but uh, no but you have a name yes good. and if you were talking about that uh, how about useless the you people were talking at the press but i don't think so they are useless they are uh, great people they do such good things in the uh, in and they are very good people thank, thank you. you thank you that's really nice thank yeah. you so much and enjoy the beach okay then bye 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 <laughs> Okay that that was an interesting call thank you yeah, very much for that calling That was really us. nice kind of him yeah So kind of you I think you have He said Arabs are not useless see he doesn't agree see? Well he, I heard him. he hasn't met the Arabs You are agreeing know. with that by the but way <laughs> <laughs> uh, You agree with that think, Arabs But I but I think um, every community has you know their point the of good view. and the bad Yeah uh, point, so we want we can't generalize everything yeah. but the only thing is that we need to educate people on how things are done yeah okay last yeah the the week before i was having argument an okay. argument with two of the ladies here about making tea and they <laughs> okay. they made me look so stupid yeah so i want to reassure myself that i'm not okay how do you make tea you there are different w- ways you okay. put hot to water. start with Okay. Okay, there is. Yeah, this is a very interesting. Okay, you put hot water and then <laughs> and then the tea thingy. And then, <laughs> and then the there milk. There are ways. And boil it. What? Oh, it's ready. No. Okay. I would say there are different I would say there are different types before, of tea. Before before you say something, did you hear what you said? <laughs> the you tea put hot thingy. water. You put hot water and then the tea thingy tea. and then you boil it. <laughs> What's the point of the hot water? <laughs> it has to be boiled, man. I, I don't mean the ready-made thingy. thingy. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't mean the ready-made thingy. I mean. The I was <laughs> just talking about role models and that you people are, you know, great. And hey, Rayan said that. I'm, I'm out of. <laughs> you know, you know, you'll get married. <laughs> after you have to back me up. <laughs> you know, you'll get married after ten years, and if you don't know to make tea, then well, no, but we have a lot of time to learn. No, but seriously, what part of the tea question? <laughs> uh, so he had an argument. Okay, you tell us how. how yeah, but what? How do you make okay, tea? Okay, first, specific. okay, well, what type of tea? There are different types. Tea, of tea. Just, the normal just tea. one. Yeah, milk okay, tea. There, okay, there. Okay, milk tea. Um, okay, you start off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in a cook show. Okay, okay. uh, cooking show. Uh, you start off with putting water. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, and you boil it, and then you add either the tea bag. or the brown stuff i don't know what they call it who wants in the tea thing yeah, that's why i said the tea okay Come and on. then when it gets like red you add uh either so for how long for I was, example i was making i was saying uh, it how long do you, how do, how long do you keep the the thing in the water until it's it starts boy you see the color coming and still it starts and falling then? off and then you add the tea i mean the, the tea <laughs> the milk <laughs> the milk and the, tea, the and then you let water. it burn because it becomes correct if you burn. let it burn 
I'm sure both of you will kill someone <laughs> when you cook tea. Okay. I cook tea for my dad okay, you, you, okay, you, I used you, to you stick to Indomie. And yeah, Domi, yeah. Indomie, yeah. I master Indomie. And, uh, halas, and shawarma. No, I'm a, I, I'd like to think of myself as being a good cook. Please, yeah. please, both of Speaking you about did not who has demonstrate that today, and I'm really disappointed. All you ladies in this generation, you, you don't think cooking is important. No, it we is. do. It is important. But yeah. the thing is, Come we don't on. need to memorize it. We don't yeah, need but, to memorize. But you it. need to know how to do it. We do. No, we can open. When YouTube. was the last time you inter- you? T- yeah, it shows you. Well, it shows you like full the, steps, left. Yeah. Wait, wait. And it becomes exactly like what you. If want. you know how to cook and do me. Mm-hmm. Khalas, your problem is solved. We are not Asian. We are Amani. <laughs> Amani <laughs> don't eat and for lunch, It's dinner. even easier. Rice is even Wait, easier. we have home delivery and we have it. We have the app in our mobile. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, recipes, yeah, it works if you look at it. I'm from really YouTube. disappointed. I, I hope your parents listen to the, today's show and they do something about this, uh, this disaster. I think this about is us? Why is a girl not cooking such a disaster? I mean... Yes, it is a disaster. Yeah, you, you haven't you heard this saying that the closest way to the man's heart is, is stomach? through his stomach have you haven't you heard this i don't and his stomach it doesn't mean that cutting off the shawarma <laughs> and shishtawuk and this it's it means cooking it's actually what? yes actual cooking <laughs> yeah so <laughs> please when you graduate do something about the go for cooking classes or Inshallah. something yeah. don't you feel ashamed that the best chefs in the world are men no no my brother is a chef yeah but it it's it's a girl's world so Do something about it. We, do, we, we need more do. chefs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Under my list, inshallah, future. <laughs> right after inshallah. dentistry. <laughs> so before we end today's show, what is the most craziest idea that you want to do, at least once in your life? Skydiving. Yeah. Same. Skydiving. Skydiving. Sky yeah. That's yes. like. You'll you take us. You'll give us a surprise ticket. I yeah. Did, I I didn't say that. No, no I, I thought. I, no, I'm not offering it. Everything has a reason. Everything surprises about the show. Oh my god. Okay, listen. Awesome. I am. My ha- birthday was yesterday. I am Hatem Show. Sure, I'm not Oprah. Okay, I'm not that come rich. Come on, come on. I can't buy tickets for skydiving. Okay, I'm just. It's, it's just a expensive. question. It's just a question. Okay, so, so okay, skydiving. Something so huh? you 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 think your parents will agree for you to do a skydiving? I I want to do it, but I don't think I'll allow myself to do it. Also. I actually heard uh, scary, one yeah. of the Omani guys uh, on the radio, he was talking about skydiving. He said 30, 30 jumps you have to do with an instructor until you get to the but really? comfort level. Because, because I fear like height or something like that. And you I want to sky- overcome You want to overcome. So I want to try I don't skydiving. Think Allah, I'm looking forward to be with you on the plane. I'll just push you. <laughs> And you'll overcome I was actually I'll be right there. I was like, no, I'm going to wait till we reach that. <laughs> okay, what about things which are disgusting, like uh, being in an aquarium with lots of snakes or something? Like fear factor. Ew, no things way. Like no, yeah? snakes are... That's exciting. Like, That's, no uh, way. No? no? Snakes, scorpions. No. If spiders, you do it, I'll do it. Though. We'll die. Spider, uh, <laughs> you try rats, it first. Yeah. Try it first. I'm, I'm okay what, with it. What, I don't what mind. What do you want to try, like... What do you really want to try? Actually, I want. I would love to swim with sharks. Are you serious? The great white shark. Of course, I'll be in a It's cage. It's like asking. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be dolphins, in a cage. We have dolphins. I know. Right? I know. Sharks for sure are not attracted to uh, Arab blood. Yeah, they they hate us. So I, I think, think I'll be okay. I think they are interested in any type of blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll make sure that that day I don't I don't bleed. <laughs> But uh, I would love to swim with sharks, and I would like. I would love to take my son, who is three years old, with me in this journey as... Uh, I can't read. Uh, you see, I'm not multi multitasking. Uh, <laughs> she wants me to read this message. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> the show is good. The show is good. Okay. So, sharks swimming with my kid. With yeah. sharks. Okay. okay. So, any last words? Any advice for your friends before we leave and we finish today's show? Yes. Go Ladies ahead. first. <laughs> Prove to uh, the world we're uh, not useless. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's the only thing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, work Kathy? harder. Work harder. I think, yeah. I think we're okay, but we just need Respect to... Respect you know, others. Don't forget. Preserving the environment. Keeping it clean. Yeah. 
saying all the morals of the TV show. Oh, TV called radio. So you think uh, after you graduate, you go to university and you're done, you have a job, you're a mom, you'll remember this day? Oh, you definitely. Yeah, of course. Definitely. Yeah, for sure? Yeah. So if if you become a celebrity or something and you see me in the streets begging, would you give me something <laughs> or... <laughs> oh, you just say, oh, I don't remember. I've never shine, been so, on the yeah. radio. Okay, thank you very much, ladies, for having this wonderful session. Thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, thank you for having it. us. Yes. Okay. We really and enjoyed it. Please yeah. feel feel free. This is home. You can come anytime. Not anytime. It means every year. <laughs> Be specific at least, today. <laughs> at, at least one, once a year. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so we're happy today. <laughs> what once a year? Once a year. If you feel like you're bored, you, you come here and we have a chat. But I think we'll take over three, your three months. Uh, Inshallah khair. Thank yeah, you very much yeah. again, and I hope um, you thanks enjoy to today's who show. Yeah, thanks to everyone who called. Can I say called. something? Yeah. You had your chance. Okay, you end the, the show. What? No, yeah. I get to end it. No, yes. no, no. But here, yes, yes, go ahead. Uh, thank you all for listening. Um, I hope you had a great time. And so, yeah. <laughs> uh, See you guys next, next week, week on Thursday from 5 to 6. And yeah, hope you had a good time. Young leaders. Young leaders. Hatim al-Hafsanam. Ma'as-salama. Ma'as-salama.